Um, hi, Jess. I just wanted to show you how to get the labels toolbar um, on your blog. I could see you've been using them, but it's not appearing. And this is just a dummy um, demo uh, blog that I set up. It's not one that's really public. So basically, as you can see, I started to do the labels here, but you might be wondering, how did I get that to pop up? So I'm going to show you basically what to do to make the labels show up. So what you would do is go to design. Okay, and from design, you're going to pick layout. And when layout pops up, notice this is like an architect's plan, like a drawing showing you where all the placeholders are on your blog. It's like a behind the scenes type of thing. And I have this one set up so the blog posts are over on this side. And over here on the right, there's a sidebar. Um, this is the title of the uh, blog, for instance. And here's another place where I could um, add a gadget or a little title. I'm that blank for now. I basically want to go over here to the right hand side and I'm going to go add a gadget. When I do that, notice this window pops up called Add a Gadget. And I scroll down through there until I find the one called Label. And there is the one called Label. And it says Show all the labels of posts in your blog. And what I would do is click on this plus sign to add it to the blog. Some options will come up. I could change the title if I wanted to call it index or something else. I could. I'm just going to leave it as labels. I'm going to ask it to show all the labels. And then it's asking me do I want them sorted alphabetically or by frequency of how often they're being used. Then I'm being asked do I want them displayed as a list going down, up and down, or as a cloud. On my blog, which I do need to clean up over the summer, it's very messy looking. I had to do it as a cloud because I had too many labels. I'm going to go in over the summer and get rid of some of the labels so it won't look so messy. But in your case, I think just um, taking the defaults will work really well. And then when you go save, notice the word labels popped up here. Now, if I don't want the labels to be the first gadget that shows up on my sidebar, I could just drag it and drop it and put it somewhere else. Okay? And of course I have two of them on here because I had one up from before. Um, and then, of course, you have to remember to go Save Arrangement. And then, of course, you go back and view your blog. So you've already been using the labels. So when you go through this process, of um, going to uh, that was design way back when and then I went to layout and when I went to layout I went to add a gadget and over here if you recall the gadget feature popped up and I scrolled to find it. There's obviously other gadgets that can be added but for now I just wanted you to get that label one on your sidebar. So I hope that helps for you and maybe you can get that done before Thursday. It'll um, just spice up your blog a little bit. If you want to do anything to change your template or the background, I think you might know this already, but you can go to template and go in here and fool around a little bit and try some other templates if you felt like it. The one you have is fine to leave for now, though. Um, and that's really about it, and I hope this helps you. You might have to put your speakers up. Um, I'm talking a little on the quiet side right now because people are sleeping in the house and I don't want to wake them up. So I think it'll be okay for you, though, if you have your speakers up or you put a set of headphones on, you should be able to hear this. So again, you I, I don't have it up now. Let me just show you one more time, though, if I go back to um, just viewing the blog, okay? When I go back there, in the corner, when you open it, you're going to pick Design. You're going to pick Layout. And then you're going to pick here, add a gadget. Okay? Um, should you do blogging with your students later next year, you'll have some time to practice over the summer. I think you'll probably end up using Kid Blog anyhow. But if you want to create one for yourself um, as a classroom teacher, of course you're going to want to learn about some of these other features, such as comments. Um, 
and how to moderate them going into settings and so on and so forth. But the main reason for this tutorial really was to go over with you the idea of adding gadgets using the layout option, going over here and waiting for the gadget to open up in this area and of course remember you need to save your arrangement. So good luck and I hope you could get that done um, in time to finish up your uh, blog for the course. It would just add one nice feature to it. If you don't have time that's fine but I thought I'd give it a shot.